I can see what we have. We're, we're beginning to develop the color scheme that, uh, that we're looking for here. Now it's time to add another dubbing loop. And I've used uh, mixtures of blue and reds and purples and whites. Uh, pretty much whatever we think uh, the bass will go for or what we think looks nice. You know, quite often I think the uh, flies and things are put together more about what the fisherman looks like than, than maybe what the fish like. And I really like these color schemes. This particular uh, material is just, uh, just great since they've come in with the barring. And uh, it can come in many, many different kinds of bars. And we spread it out. Kind of even it up. And then give it another spin. Oh, that one's going to work out really well. Okay, then trap this off. And uh, cut off what we had. Stroke it back. And some of these, if you look at the at the fish, there's a little bit of white back here, and I will add add um, a little white white hair back there. And uh, basically, we're building a what I think is an attractive fly for the fish. Okay. Again, the same thing here. Now I want to want to cut this off again. Okay, let's put this on now. Get that loop so that so that we tie it in, it doesn't rotate on us. Move it around. In many ways, as I look at this, it's a little bit like doing deer hair, because I think all you need to do is put the hair on the hook for the deer hair also. It's just getting good. <laughs> okay, now I like to add a little topping. We're getting some nice color on that. I think it looks pretty good. And I like to add a little bit of... Uh, Peacock curl in for the topping. Adjust that curl so we kind of even it up a little bit. Then figure this will this will give have a little bit more uh, definition on the top. The, most of the bait fish in Toledo Bend have a dark top on them. So we'll stop over here, run that back in. Now we'll just capture that. And we're done with our tying activity now. We need to do a little bit more work with this, this peacock curl. We'll do a whip finish here. I think peacock curl is one of the things that really attracts fish. It, it, uh, you look at all of the really, really good fish catching baits and there's an awful lot of hurl that's used in it. Now what we can do here is curl it. Just like we just like that that ribbon that we did that we get at Christmas time. Your wife probably does that. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now I need we we need to set eyes on there. We gotta be careful that we that we make sure that it, that the glue gets connected to the hook shank. That's one of the uh, one of the big problems with something with a lot of a lot of hair on is that it doesn't it doesn't hook up good to the hook shank. So I like to put a little bit in front like that and then press real good against it. I'm going to do the same for the other side. I don't know that. Says here the same for the other. There we go. I found that of all the glues that I use, 
Uh, this uh, goop or um, zappa dappa goo or, uh, seem to be the best, and uh, and these these eyes will stay on if you can get them anchored good to the to the uh, hook shank. There we are. Push a little bit more. This one, this side doesn't want to hook up good. There we go. A little bit of time for that to dry and it'll be ready to fish.